I'm gonna try and keep this video as brief as possible. This should be the most up-to-date config that I use every day in all of my videos. I put two links in the description. One of them is a download link for my config specifically. And the other one is to a CS2 movement config Discord server that has all the separate parts of the config and a tutorial if you don't know how to set it up yourself. Because the config is super modular, the server has some features that I don't personally use like mini jump and long jump binds that you can set yourself up from there. Should all be pretty straightforward. If you happen to have any issues, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, I'm just going to quickly explain what my config does and how to set it up. All right, so when you download the zip file that I've linked in the description, all you need to do is just unpack it. So just extract it wherever. Um, you're going to have a auto exec CFG and a movement folder. This has everything from that Discord server I linked, I mentioned as well. So what you do with this is you go to your Steam, right click, manage, browse local files. Once you're here, you want to click game, CSGO, CFG. And in here, you're just going to go in, copy this and just paste it in here. You then want to go to your Steam, right click Counter Strike 2 and go to properties and make sure you have plus exec auto exec .cfg. I'll put these entire launch options in the description though if you want to use them. Once you get into your game, all you need to do is just exec auto exec. You hear that sound, it'll say ready, and that's pretty much it for setting it up and getting it going. When it comes to the contents of the actual auto exec, this is all that's in it. Starting from the top, we have game settings here. This is what I use. This is my view model. These are binds for all the utilities in the folder. Uh, this is what I use for no clips. So instead of toggling, I like to have it on hold. This just toggles my HUD on and off to keep my only my uh, death notices on. This is the subtick shooting. People say it doesn't work for them. I just keep it in mind. Uh, this is the subtick crouch. This is a mini map toggle that zooms in and out of your mini map. So if you're trying to ninja diffuser, you're stuck in a smoke, you can zoom in and out of your minimap there. This is so it executes the folder. Um, and then this is just tool volume. So when you boot my config and it makes that sound, or if you're in the movement hub and you're hearing all those sounds, this just turns it down so it doesn't blast your ears. This is just a tag and this is that activation sound. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.